Good morning, saints. I want to greet you in the precious name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the living word, the resurrected Son of God. With sadness, I have made this uh, video clip this morning. Uh, I don't even care about shaving. I don't even care about my gray hair. This is beyond me, beyond my body. In fact, I feel it is good that I make this video just the way I am right now. I just learned of a very sad development. Though it's, it's, though it's to me, really, it was not supposed to come as a sad development. But it is sad because there's, we still have many pretenders. We still have got many pretenders in this message. I learned of the departure, or not the departure, or the leaving of the message of one of our uh, honorable uh, pastors who have been uh, elders and leaders that have been looked to for. I mean, the saints have looked to them for many years. I just heard that Pastor Lucky has left this message. Lucky Anton. He was uh, it's actually uh, goes by the title of Apostle Ant uh, Anton Lucky. I say this. I cannot run away from this because I, I, I have heard the man preach uh, and, I, I have, I, I, and, and I know about the man and he's a famous uh, uh, elder in this message. And uh, this morning I learned, oh, maybe this thing has, uh, many people you already know about it, but me I just learned it this morning. But then he, my, I'm lamenting. This is why I come to you the way I am. But then I'm, I'm, I'm only, uh, I found the consolation in the Bible, in the Word. For there is nowhere else where we can find consolation apart from the Word, apart from the Bible. There we had Jeremiah lamenting about the fate of Israel, the fate of the kings of Israel, the pastors of this message. The kings of Israel, the pastors of this message, Jeremiah lamented, but God said, even though you lament, I'm not going to change it. I'm taking them back. I'm taking them back to exile. These were the people that, were, that God sent his anointed prophet Moses to deliver them from Egypt, to deliver them from the denominations of this day, to bring them into the into the light of the Son of God. Hallelujah. From the kingdom of darkness into the kingdom of the light of the Son of God, the resurrected mighty conqueror who came in this day and was made manifest in the flesh of the prophet William Aaron Branham. The mighty conqueror, the resurrected Son of God, Jesus Christ, the Word, descended again the second time to the earth. Hallelujah. And manifested himself and he proved that the Bible is he authenticated the Bible. Remember, we were believing the Bible without it being confirmed. For the Bible says there was going to be a day which was neither light or, or dark, and it would be cloud in between there. But in the evening time, there was going to be it was going to be light in the evening time. Remember, it was in the morning time. When the first, when Christ first came and was made fresh in his son Jesus. And in the evening time, he has come and he has been made flesh in his anointed church. The bride at the end time vindicated and made flesh in the prophet physically in our day. Since I know, I remember one pastor who laughed at me because of the beards, because of the gray. He is even older than me. But he could not just make sense himself to know that we have been made differently. Oh my, I am, I'm above 50 years now. And the Bible t tells me that John the Baptist, who, when he was just around 30 years, he, he was more than the way you see me. And they came to the Lord Jesus and they said, you are not even 50 years. And you say you have seen Abraham, our prophet. God sent a spiritual man in this day. A man that was supposed to be the, the man that was able 
by the hand of God to be taken into another world, to be taken into another dimension. And he was taken back and he saw the looks of Jesus and he said, because of the Lord of the work that was upon him, he, he, his hair was already gray at the age of 33. And you scorned me, who is now above 50. You would have scorned the Lord Jesus if you had lived in that day. And you are scorning me in this day, for you don't know him in this day. You would have scorned John the Baptist in that day, because you have scorned him again. You have scorned your prophet in this day. For I know that even your prophet, there are many profiles that he, he has got beds where he's been in the jungle. Who has been in the forest, he's been far away from the city without shaving. It has nothing to do with shaving. It has to do with the word. There's a reason why God allows this. Why would God allow me to be able to minister the word and, and not come out smart like, like your, your scribes and your pastors? Why would God allow me to do that? I would rather... Even if you say I'm crazy, even if you say I'm mad, but let me be mad for this message. For I have seen the Lord in this day. For I have seen the coming of the word in my day. This is the vindicated message. My brothers, my sisters, you who are living this message, I feel sorry for you. I don't condemn you. I love you, but I, very, I feel very, very sorry. I have always said that many people have never understood this message. Many people who claim, many leaders who have been in this message, they are just leaders by reading, not, they have never come into contact with the real living God of this message. It's just a continuation of the Pentecostalism, infiltration of Pentecostal, Pentecostalism in the message. When we are no longer under the Pentecostal age, we are in the bright age. Oh, saints. Let me, I believe I will make more, I'm going to make more clips. But I feel sorry. I feel sorry for my my pastors, my brothers and sisters who are leaving this message. And I know there's going to be more and more leave because they've never come to the understanding of what the message really is. They have not recognized the messenger and the message. They have not recognized the coming of Christ in this day. If you just end up with Brother Brenham, surely you are going to fail and go back where you came from, from the denominations. You Remember those who remained with John the Baptist and failed to see the Lord when he was introduced. That was their end. All oh, saints. Message believers and pastors leaving the message. You never believed in the first place. Or you did believe, but nothing ever happened to you. There was no change. You never met the pillar of fire. You, you don't recognize it. And if you deny this picture, of, of, and if you denounce the pillar of fire that we have today, you have to denounce the pillar of fire that Moses met. You have denounced the pillar of fire that came down when John the Baptist was baptizing Jesus because you were not even there. You just read it in the Bible. You just read it in the Bible. But in this day, the, the God of the Bible comes out our lives and proves and reenacts everything that you read in the Bible. And in the end, you turn it back against him. God have mercy upon your sins. God have mercy. Please, let us come and reason. To those who still feel something, come, let us reason before it is too late. God bless you, saints, this morning.